everybody and welcome to Trainer Talk. I'm Chris. I'm not a trainer, but I'm still here to do the talk today. Uh, so I guess today is a bit more of a barn talk day. Uh, Haley is out training right now, so she couldn't make it. Uh, so I am filling in. Uh, so I'll just be giving some updates on the barn and how the dogs are doing and anything that I do know about how their training is going. Um, first off, uh, Crusher recently went on a trip to D.C. for a service dog uh, related conference. Uh, he went with Lynn and Diane and it sounds like that went very well. He did uh, very well in D.C. Only heard good things back from that. Um, so Crush is doing very well in his training it seems like. Uh, everybody else is doing well. Um, lately we have a couple dogs who are getting a bit bored with their food again. This was an issue we had a couple months ago where all the dogs kind of got bored of their food and went on food strike uh, and the result was we ended up having to lower a lot of what we were giving them just by like a cup uh, so they kind of get them a bit hungry you know get them interested in the food again. Um, never anything that they were like rapidly losing weight just kind of like a, oh hey you know I'm just a little bit peckish at dinner now. Uh, so we may have to do that again for, it was Sister and Riker. Um, still waiting to see on Sister, but Riker has been pretty consistently just uninterested in his food. Um, so we may have to drop him down by a cup just to see if that gets him back into it. Um, what else is going on? And I just want to, I'm just going to check my phone real quick to make sure the message about... Uh, I don't know if that message I sent went out, but I did, I did post a message that was going to be in here today. Um, we had some issues with the sound in the puppy room. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. Uh, anyways, let's see what else is going on in the barn. Not much has been going on lately, honestly. We haven't had that too many uh, big happenings around here. Um, puppies seem to be doing well. They've been. Uh, they're, it sounds like they're getting trained in the car now. They're going for leash walking. They're really kind of starting getting into it now. Uh, and I've been hearing very good things about their work in the car, uh, which is great. Cause I know a lot of the dogs in the past. Uh, one of the huge things for them has been getting, one, getting in and out of the car, and then just being in the car. Uh, I know Emma, she, it took a while for her to get her to kind of willingly go into my car, and then she still to this day is very nervous when she's in a car. So it's great to hear that the pups are uh, doing very well uh, with their car training. So hopefully that will, hopefully that will also help with maybe their traffic as well, that maybe the ones that are used to being in a car, they're going to be less scared of cars going by, um, which will, that will be nice, because I know that that is also an issue that we tend to run into with uh, some of our dogs is, you know, traffic anxiety. Um, so hopefully this will uh, make them less susceptible to that. Uh, but we're also starting to get them on leash walking. I'm not sure how that's going. I uh, haven't heard too much about it, obviously. When they started, uh, the pups were terrified of it, as they usually are, um, as they are unused to leashes. Uh, but I, I think it's uh, it, it's been going well. I have seen a couple uh, leash walking attempts with them, and a couple times I have seen it, it went fairly well. Um, what else? Uh, any other big? Been pretty, it's been pretty quiet in the barn lately. We don't, we don't, we, we've, uh, we've gone through a lot of our dogs. We only have, at this point, like, yeah, we, we, uh, we, we, we've gone, uh, a lot of our dogs have gone out at this point, so it's been pretty quiet in the barn lately, uh, which is nice. It's nice. Uh, it's obviously, it's going to be a little chaotic once the puppies finally come over. Uh, all 12 of them, but uh, hopefully we'll get a few more dogs out before then, so it's not going to be complete chaos. 
uh, like it was with the triples and the uh, Christmas litter both came to the barn. Um, So someone did see that the arena. Okay. I did post a message that uh, trainer talk was going to be in the arena, but apparently that did not go through. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. But uh, there we go. Uh, let's see if I can think of any other burning things that have been happening. This is a lot harder than to meet the dog. <laughs> I have a lot less to just, uh, there's a lot more that I have to think about than what I'm doing meet the dog when I just focus on one dog. Um, we got Crusher going to DC, already covered that. Uh, covered the two dogs that are not eating as much. What else has been happening? I think that's generally it. Yeah, yeah, I, there's really not too much in the way of updates going on right now. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, things have been, like I said, pretty quiet, so not too, too much to talk about. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, Obviously, for the trainer aspect of this, I'm trying to think of what I remember off the top of my head for how the dogs are doing. Um, I know I talked to John a bit today about Jack, um, and who's, he said he says that uh, he took Jack out today. He says he's doing pretty well with that, so we're hoping that he can uh, turn it around because he can be a bit rambunctious at times. Um, he's a little, his his issues. He's, he's a little immature. Uh, and his attention really, it's, it's, his attention's very volatile. It snaps and then it sticks, and it's never on what you want it to. Um, it's very hard to get his attention, very hard to keep his attention. Uh, but it sounds like he did pretty well today when he was out with John, so, you know, we hope, hopefully we can keep that up, and, uh, he can turn it around, it'll finally click for him. Uh, the hope that I have is that it clicks for him like it did his uncles, because, uh, before his uncles, Keiko, Proxy, and Turby, all went out as service dogs. They were also very, not sim they didn't have similar issues, but they all had issues that they were working through, and it all clicked for them. So uh, I'm hoping that for Jack, it's kind of a similar thing where it's gonna, he's gonna finally mature enough where it clicks for him, um, and he'll start getting it better than uh, what he's got right now. Until then, it's going to be a lot of slow and steady progress with him. Um, yeah, um, you know, so he, he did pretty well today. Crusher did very well with DC. Sound like Spock's doing pretty well. I don't know if he's ready to go out just yet. He still has some anxiety issues he's got to work on. He actually sounds like he does better out than he does at the barn. Um, so that's always good to hear. Uh, yeah, not too much else. Uh, sorry that I couldn't give as in depth of a uh, talk on their training. Um, and I know there, I, sorry there wasn't as much excitement <laughs> lately uh, for barn updates. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. So next week we'll be back with Trainer Talk again. Uh, I don't... Yeah, uh, should be Haley doing it next week, so back to the normal schedule, and hopefully we can figure out what's going on in ICE. Uh, I had some trouble figuring out how to get the uh, 
sound working on the camera, and I had to log in, I did not have the login, so uh, we'll figure that out, and we can get it back to our normal air-conditioned trainer talk room. <laughs> uh, but until then, everybody have a good night.